Father Philip Kimayo. Uh, I work here in Burn Forest, the Eucharistic Shrine, as the chaplain for the shrine. And uh, basically, uh, I'm here. I think uh, I was appointed to be here to serve here. I think one, it's now one year since uh, I was posted here by the bishop to help really on uh, the issue of the shrine and also uh, the issue of the <clears throat> promoting the spirituality of Sister Anne Ali here in Burn Forest. As you are aware that uh, she was buried here. And this place has become a place of uh, pilgrims, a center whereby people come to to be nourished spiritually. And I think basically that is what we, we are doing here. Uh, I didn't. I was not really privileged to to encounter a sister in a in a in a, in a closer way, but uh, I could really see her from a distance, bearing in mind that I was still young at that time in the seminary. But again, uh, when I heard about Sister and what she was really uh, doing, and especially the, the, her connection with Jesus of the uh, Blessed Sacrament, the Adorable Jesus, I was also interested to, 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 to know more about uh, uh, this sister and, and how, how really uh, this can happen to her, you know. But uh, slowly, when the Lord really uh, opened doors for many, for many people to understand about Sister, and I think for me it was an opportunity to, 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 to reflect about our calling and our life. Yeah. Yes, uh, basically, you see, when you read about Sister Anne Ali and when you hear so many things, what people are saying about sister. On my side, I think for me, the thing that came out most profound in, in his teaching and also in, his, in her life, you know, experiences with the Blessed Sacrament. For me, I think the issue of uh, having that special connection with the Blessed Sacrament, that special touch, that special touch. Another thing that is coming out very clearly from her life and also from the teaching is the question of how we spend more time eh, in prayer, you know, uh, these night vigils. So I think for me, and also for many others that they would like to understand more about uh, the life, um, also the life and also the messages that really we can get from our life is her connection with the Blessed Sacrament and the prayer life, you know, more time that is spent in, in the Blessed Sacrament, the chapel, uh, communicating with, uh, you know, having that conversation with with adorable Jesus, for me it is so dear, and I will, I will, I will, I wish that uh, many other people also could really uh, borrow that from uh, Sister Anne Halley's life and her vocation, and also her mission in the church. Yeah, uh, I think for sure uh, one of the things that. Uh, that people are still asking themselves, maybe uh, they are not really convinced about that. And I want, I want also to communicate to those people like who are like Thomas is in the Bible, you know. They don't really believe on some of these uh, apparitions, that the things that happened to sister. And basically, I, I, I want to tell you that uh, not all believe that about that, but uh, I want to encourage them that, you know, these things are really things that happen, you know, things that happen. And uh, these things, they still manifest itself to us. And I want just to encourage those ones to tell them, please, it is true that what happened to sister, the church is uh, taking uh, some steps towards uh, uh, these miracles, these apparitions, and slowly the church is affirming that, that it is really something that happened. And we believe, and that is why uh, I said about people choosing to come here, you know, this coming here to Eucharistic Center, you know, to, 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 to really learn more about sister and also this. And some of them, they ask, uh, is it really, does it, uh, are you really, is it true that this thing happened to sister, you know? And when you communicate to them, when you explain to them, you know, we have so many ways on how God operates. And, you know, when each and every one of us, especially if you have received 
spe a special message, you know, or a special calling to become religious or a sister or a priest. Each one has its unique way. Yeah? And sometimes God chooses uh, the one that he thinks, uh, he or she thinks that uh, uh, it's, this, it's about God choosing who to reveal himself to. And for sister, it was all about uh, Jesus uh, appearing to her and communicating these divine messages to her. And I want just to call upon uh, Christians of different uh, categories that it is true these things happen. And it is a confirmation. For me, I would say it's a confirmation when you see people coming here. Uh, uh, Sister Han Ali, she's, she's still alive in us. And that is why it's called, uh, uh, the adorable Jesus is calling many people to come here to also witness the power behind the Blessed Sacrament. Yeah, the, you know, this gift that the Lord really decided to, 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 to communicate something special to Sister Anne Ali through the Divine Appeal messages. And one thing that is coming out so clearly in these Divine messages, I can summarize that people should really, ta first of all, people should respect the Eucharist. That means the Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. The second thing is that uh, we have to be very careful on uh, how we handle Jesus. Uh, how we really uh, handle the whole issue of receiving Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. The third one is also so that we avoid the, the issue of abuses according to uh, what uh, the adorable Jesus communicated to Sister about uh, really asking that so many people are really abusing uh, the Blessed Sacrament. And I think that is really the, the, one of the most important things that really we can get from that. Another thing is also about uh, having these uh, confessions uh, receiving the blessed sacrament when we are really uh, in a state of grace and that is why he's asking when you read this divine appeal that uh, we need to, really to, to, to do a lot of uh, like reparation and atonement you know really uh, going down on our knees and asking God for forgiveness not only on ourselves but also for the for, on behalf of the whole world and that is the message for me, I can summarize in that way, that the love to the Eucharist, Jesus is calling many people to really make the, uh, like to respect the Blessed Sacrament. And how we handle also is another issue. And another message is about reparation and atonement, that we need really to, 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 to go down on our knees and seek forgiveness, true forgiveness. And we receive the Blessed Sacrament when we are in a state of grace and when we, we do away with sin. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I would like to really uh, bless you people. I would like to pray over you and to ask Jesus who is in the Blessed Sacrament to be, uh, uh, to be in charge of you. So, dear friends, uh, let us receive these blessings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you in a very special way for this message that you've given us about uh, Sister Anne Ali and especially so we get prepared to celebrate our 11th anniversary and also we celebrate this solemnity of uh, Corpus Christi. We ask you, Lord, in the Blessed Sacrament to bless us. Bless even those who are uh, online at this moment. The Lord bless their families. Heal them, those who are not feeling well. The Lord, you may extend your mercy and you may touch them. Deliver them from any uh, bondage, any suffering, at this moment because we believe and trust that Lord you are here with us and you will also bless them where they are. I release the blessings of Christ and especially the blessings of Jesus who is in the blessed sacrament to you Father, Son and the Holy Spirit.